Bourbon hunting is a sport. You have to know a lot of secrets. Buried in the back of liquor stores, covered in piles and piles of dust. And they call that dusty hunting. Peeking behind, looking in the back, and you see one of those bottles that had been sitting there since 1972, like your heart just starts racing. Then you have to convince the person to sell it to you when you finally acquire that bottle and open it and drink it and share it with friends, it tastes so good. And these are very high proof. 140, 141, which they call hazmat. You were saying these aren't allowed on airplanes. Yeah, you can't, you can't fly with them. <laughs> Let's just say I'll never be back to the Cayman Islands. <laughs> <laughs> Drew Colesveen is the master distiller at Willet. <laughs> <laughs> the cooler full of flammable liquid. His family goes back hundreds of years in Kentucky with making bourbon. People say you have to be born into it, and Drew certainly was. Man, the aromas that I'm getting right now, insane. This would be the first bourbon enjoyed in this house. <laughs> An honor to drink it with you, especially with a lineup of my five favorite bottlings that you've done. Luckily, Willet is very close to Nashville. I started driving up and hanging out at the distillery and getting to know him, and we quickly became very close friends. I've always wondered what your favorite barrels are. The true test, the true way to really know is just to go blind. Sounds great. Cool. Well, we're about to be the happiest people <laughs> on the face of the planet. Let's take this on the porch. Let's do it. Sounds like church bells. <laughs> <laughs> Love that noise. <laughs> I'm not going to be too analytical. So I'm not either. Just going to see which one like grabs me. First instinct. Some powerful stuff. Delicious. <laughs> that one's uh, like hardcore. Goes through your hold like. I'm starting to feel it deep down in my veins. <laughs> are incredible. I've definitely tasted my favorite. Drew has the most incredible palate for whiskey I've ever seen. And he can hold his bourbon like you've never seen before. <laughs> uh, look at, I'm sweating here. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing good work here. <laughs> Ooh, that smells so good. Look how dark that one is. I know. Ooh, the buzzer, that one's really good. <laughs> First instinct. I say two. Three. Cool. I like the nose on five, but the overall balance and flavor of number three. Whew, feeling those. <laughs> these two really jumped out of me. They They're just... really close they, in, yeah. in flavor. <laughs> Got warm real quick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Turn that thermostat down. If I drank bourbon as a living, I would not be that well behaved. You gonna cook the steaks? 